Hi everybody, uh, heading out to an estate sale. Um, I've got uh, an appointment at this one at 10 o'clock, so just heading out. Got a lot of garage related stuff and uh, looks kind of fun to dig through. I will show you what we find. Hey everybody, uh, back again from another estate sale. Um, I was at a place where the guy worked for Pac Bell. Got some great uh, Bell Systems canvas bags and uh, we'll show you what we got. Yeah, them being a little dirty, they're pretty good condition. Um, might have to do a little power wash. Um, this, I mean, they have a few little holes, but the great thing about these things are just, they've got really well built rivets, I guess. And uh, this one's got a little crust, but we're gonna try to clean that up. But I got two of them, which is really nice. These are on eBay, I've seen anywhere from probably like 80 to 120 bucks. Um, so like little copper rivets on them. Not perfect, but people, people do buy these. Couple other finds, nothing too over the top. The Sunset uh, how-to books. I've got a, a number of them, so when I have find ones I don't have in the collection, I pick them up. This is just a, a building supply for different stuff. I don't know, it's just kind of fun to see the different eras and the stuff you could buy for your homes. This scrapbook I thought was interesting. It's all uh, World War II newspaper clippings of uh, men and women that died in the war. I don't know why someone would do that, but I, you know, just to, to honor them that way, I guess, in a scrapbook form. I just think it's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. And get a little history, insight to who these people were and where they came from and what branch they served in. So thank you to them. Just lost a few extras. Got a couple of license plate frames. These bring pretty good money if you get the right ones. This is just more of a novelty one. Stay clear, my rear is near. I thought that was kind of cool. Old frame. And these are La Cunada JSB motors. Got a pair of these. Uh, this is a local area to us. So hopefully someone will want those. This guy, like I said, worked for Belson's or Pac Bell phone company. Back in the day, this is a porcelain enamel little sign. Underground telephone cable, this one's pretty good, Nick. Gas and oil signs are really hot and expensive, but this is, you know, this is just phone stuff, but it's the porcelain enamel dates it, so it's, um, I don't know exactly what age, but it's probably from like the 40s, 50s. And uh, people collect them, put them on the wall, advertising, vintage stuff, kind of cool. Um, got this Krylon Let Go Super Pin Rust Solvent Spray. Like I said in my other videos, I collect a little bit of the cans. I'll probably just sell this one because it's not that great, but it's uh, got the metal top, older. I'm not sure exactly what the year, but you can just tell by the seam on that. It's an older can. And kind of fun. Let's see. Got some clothes. They're pretty bad shape, a little crusty. I need a little wash. The box that I got them out of had that was like decaying. So this Chapman College sweatshirt. Got some holes and but uh, pretty cool. Some sweatpants from the same era. These kind of vintage youth size sweatpants. A couple of t-shirts are in rough shape. Mission Road, Auto Wrecker. You know, this one's got a lot of stains. I don't know how much that could come out in the wash, but you know, even with holes and stains and rips, people still buy this kind of stuff. So don't throw it away. There's a market almost for everything. And this is just kind of a, Jump rope for heart, uh, cancer society, or something like that. Vintage tea, kind of cool. And uh, got this brass water fire hose nozzle, Powhatan BNI works in this Ransom, Washington. Yeah, I sold these in the past. People collect these little things, so like that. Then, uh Flame Boy Highway Safety Flares, just some old flares, stuff like that. It's just man cave decor, kind of cool. And then got an old Sparklets water. Is that what that is? Root Beer Table Water, Club Soda. Okay, I was wrong. Sparkita Beverages, made from Sparklets. So this is just a bottle open from Sparklets back in the day. People collect these. I've got a few of them. Um, Kind of cool. The last bell bag, so. 
Not a super haul, but fun little pick. Thank you.